Cleanup efforts across East Texas are underway tonight as neighbors continue to pick up the pieces from last night's storm. Parts of our area were hit with large hail and strong wind. Our Jose Alonso is in Crockett today where many are without power and water. It was crazy. It felt like there was a hurricane happening. And when I would look out the window, the trees looked like rubber bands. Like there was no, there was no stiffness to them at all. Jeremiah Silsby and his wife own Davy C's Pizzeria on the south side of Crockett. Generally, the power's back on when we wake up. So when it wasn't, we were really surprised. He's been prepping pizza dough since 6 a.m. on Thursday. And so we ran up here and then uh, put all of our products into this cooler right here. And we were sitting here wondering, like, what are we going to do? It wasn't just Southside Crockett that was impacted. And as you can see here, this is just right outside of the downtown portion of the city of Crockett. Cleanup is still underway with this scrap metal. It appears this building behind me over here's roof was actually peeled off by the winds. It was put into the street here. They actually had to push it to the side. And now, as you can see, it's continuing to get cleaned up. We had flash flooding all through town, and the heaviest that I was told about was over on Highway 7 and Loop 304, which is the Waterburger exit. And there was water that was mid-car deep, and there were several rescues that had to be made from there. Crockett Police Captain Blake Gates says flash flooding wasn't the only issue. Now we're also assessing all the trees that are down. Uh, we're trying to prioritize getting the ones that are blocking roadways, people's uh, driveways, and things like that taken care of first. We spotted several trees down at Davy Crockett Memorial Park, where you can also see a fence at a softball field pushed over by the winds. Back at Davy C's Pizzeria, the power is back on and they're serving up deep discounts all day. We're going to be up until, we're going to try to be up until 10 p.m. because it looks like the weather's uh, finished. In Crockett, Jose Alonso, CBS 19. And thankfully, no injuries there, Jose. Thanks for that report. Multiple residents say they are glad to have avoided a tornado as they had just recovered from one last year. Officials are asking residents to go to the city's Facebook page to take a damage survey and find out where you can drop off your tree limbs at no charge.